Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest, Devious Minds. This quest is considered experience difficulty and is short length, about 15 minutes long if you already have one of the items required, the large pouch. The requirements for this quest include 65 smithing, which is boostable, 50 runecrafting, and 50 fletching. Quests that you'll have to have completed is Wanted, Troll Stronghold, Doric's Quest, Enter the Abyss, and Recruitment Drive. If you need guides for these quests, they are linked in the description. In your worn equipment, it's recommended that you have a weapon, melee or range gear that you can bring into the wilderness for a brief period. Only bring these items with you if you need the large pouch, otherwise bring weight reducing gear. In your inventory, you'll need a mithril two-hander sword, bowstring, and a non-degraded large pouch. You will lose all three of these items. It is recommended that you have Falador teleports, Draymond or Lunar Staff and a Slayer Ring, Lumberyard teleports or Dig Sight teleport, Amulet of Glory or Padawa teleport, Stamina potions, Super Energy potions, and food if you need a large pouch. The different enemies that you will be fighting are the Abyssal Creatures, level 41 to 81 if you don't have the large pouch. Linked in the description below are maps for more information. To start the quest, you'll need to speak to the monk outside of Paterdamas. This is located east of Rock on the way towards Canifis, the same temple you came across in the Priest in Peril quest. An easy way to get there is by using a Lumberyard teleport, a dig site pendant to the dig site, or by Fairy Ring CKS. If you're using a Fairy Ring, you can teleport with a Slayer Ring to the Relic of Slayer Caves, and just outside is a Fairy Ring that you can use. Talk to the monk. Say, sure thing, what do you need? At this point, be sure to look at your quest journal and see if Devious Minds has started. Now teleport to Falador. Run north along the road until you reach Doric's house. This has an anvil and quest icon. Use a mithril two-hander sword on the whetstone to make a slender blade. Use the bowstring on the sword to make it a bow sword. Make your way back to the monk. Talk to him and say, yep, got it right here for you. He will give you an orb. If you have a large pouch already, use the orb on it to make an illuminated large pouch. If not, I'll show you how to get this. Now teleport to Edgeville using your Amulet of Glory and Bank. Next, you'll be going into the Wilderness and Abyss, so be sure to only bring with you items that you are willing to lose. Remember to bring an Illuminated Pouch, a Teleport back to Paterdamas, and an Amulet of Glory. If you already have the Illuminated Pouch, you can skip the video using the link in the description to the next part. For those that have not, keep watching. In order to get a large pouch, you'll have to enter the Abyss and kill the Abyssal Guardian, Leech, or Walker. If you have never received pouches before, you have to collect them in increasing size. Collect the small and medium pouches before you can get the large pouch. I highly suggest only fighting the Abyssal Leeches and Guardians, as these are a much lower level than the Walker. The Abyssal Leeches and Guardians are weak to range, so keep your Amulet of Glory, bring with you food, and some range gear that you are willing to run through the wilderness briefly. Once you're ready, cross the ditch north of Edgeville and walk north along the river. Right-click on the Mage of Zamorak and select Teleport to get to the Abyss and fight the Abyssal creatures. When you have the large pouch, teleport back to Edgeville and deposit your armor and gear. Use the orb on the large pouch to create an illuminated pouch. 
Now we can continue with the quest. When ready, cross the ditch north of Edgeville and walk north along the river. Right click on the Mage of Zamorak and select Teleport to get to the Abyss. Enter the inner ring by distracting the eyes or squeezing through the gaps. Next, enter the Law Altar, which is located on the northeast side. Exit the altar through the portal to the south, and you will be on Entrana. Go to the church and use your pouch on the altar, and a cutscene will occur. Afterwards, return to the monk at Paterdamas. You will instead find a dead monk. Search the body. Now you'll have to go back to Entrana. You can go through the abyss again if you'd like, or you can use a boat at Port Serum. Talk to the High Priest at the church. Next, teleport to Falador. Walk east to the Falador Park and find Sir Tiffy Cashian, who's sitting on a bench. Ask about Devious Mines and the quest will be complete. Congratulations, you have received one quest point, 5,000 Fletching Experience, 5,000 Runecrafting Experience, and 6,500 Smithing Experience. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed this guide, and if so, please leave a like. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos by subscribing with notifications on, and following me on Twitter at PixeledMonk. You can also watch me live at twitch.tv forward slash pixeled underscore monk. Happy scaping, and I'll see you next time.